Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a correctional facility in Pearl River County, Mississippi, with the Long Island frauditor, Sean Paul Reyes. And he is uh, caught trespassing fairly quickly and detained and questioned. Meanwhile, he's saying if he had known it was restricted property, he would have never gone on to the property to begin with. Well, Sean, uh, don't you know that correctional facilities are always restricted property? Because, you know, they're high security areas, you bloody idiot. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy Sean Paul Reyes making a damn fool out of himself once again. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Pearl River County Correctional Facility here in the state of Mississippi. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. Uh, Sean, uh, you bloody moron, uh, since when have correctional facilities been uh, publicly accessible? Because, you know, there's a lot of people in those facilities that they don't want getting out. And if somebody like you who has some nefarious intentions were to get in there and get some of those people out, well, wouldn't you think that would be a bad thing? Actually, in your case, uh, you wouldn't think it would be a bad thing because they're your people. Criminal scumbags who prefer chaos and disorder. All right, guys, so let's take a look around the facility here. The Pearl River County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff David Allison. So as you would expect for a correctional facility, there are lots and lots of friendly reminders that the government is always watching and recording us every time we are in public but it always seems to be an issue when we record them well gee dude you're not exactly on a public facility are you you're in a high security detention area where there are a potential for a lot of nasty people to escape so therefore they need security cameras go figure a high security area needing a lot of cameras uh, I, Sean, I guess you can't exactly put two and two together, can you? Let's hope that's not the case here today. Reserved for Sheriff, Dep Chief Deputy, Patrol Commander, Chief Investigator. He's the only one that seems to be inside. Again, we want to be on the lookout for any restricted area signs or no trespassing signs. Because our goal is to never break the law. This is not our intention whatsoever. So we have a little sally port here. Our goal is to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right. That's why we say that every single time in the beginning of the video. It's important to remember that. So we have corrections transport vehicles over here. We have a trailer over here. It doesn't look like it's being currently used. Hey, how are you? Excuse me? Who are you with? Oh, I'm not with anybody. I'm by myself. What are you doing over here? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Lieutenant Smith, PR-19. This is a restricted area. You can't be back here. How is this a restricted area? There's a sign right there on that parking lot that says anything beyond that point's a restricted area. Can you show it to me? I didn't see it. Yeah. Come you show it to me. Do you have ID on you? Well, let me see the sign first. Because yeah, there wasn't any signs. Right now you're in a restricted area. You There's no sign. Here. Oh, there are always signs, Sean, but your dumbass decided to ignore it earlier and walked right by it. Fortunately, later on, they actually show you the sign. So here it is for everybody to see. Let's go ahead and correct this picture for all the world to see your stupidity. 
Well, looky what we've got here, an actual sign, Sean. Maybe next time you should actually pay attention and go after softer targets. Yes, there is a sign. There is no sign. It's all on camera. There's Do no sign. Favor. Step over to this car for me. Step over to the car? Yes. For step what? Over to the car. 19 Central. Am I being detained? Right now you are. For what purpose? What step what law for what car. law what law did I break, Lieutenant? Step over to the car. Well, for one thing, dimwit, uh, that you broke the Mississippi trespassing law, considering there were signs out there, and uh, I can guarantee you there are signs other than that one spread throughout the facility. So there is no excuse for you to do this. What law did I break, Lieutenant? 19 Central. I'll be back behind I'm going to keep my hands visible for you because you look like you're ready black shorts. Walk to do something real phone. stupid. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Who's calling who, stupid dumbass? So, what, can you tell me what law? Can you articulate what law? You're in a restricted area on a correctional facility. That's not a breaking of law. This is not a restricted area, sir. Yes, you're trespassing. So, there's no, no sign. You ha no, you have to Step know. Step over to the car. You have to know. Step Calm over to down. The car. Calm down, Lieutenant. Step over to the car. Calm down, Please. Lieutenant. Step over to Let's the car. Let's de escalate a little bit. Step, place Let's de-escalate. What, what are you going to search me? Well, I don't know who you, you are. You can't search me. I don't, consent, you. I don't consent to searches or seizures. Sorry, Sean. It doesn't exactly work that way. You stepped into a restricted area knowing exactly what you were doing. So, uh, yeah, search is going to be warranted in this case because you are a total Dumbass for entering a restricted area and knowingly doing it. I mean, what kind of an idiot doesn't know that a correctional facility is a restricted area? But for what? Put your hands on the hood of the car. I'm not a threat to you. I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. Okay, I'm here working a on a story. Area until I figure out who you are. Sean, you have yet to even publish a legitimate story. You are not a journalist. You are just a YouTube content creator looking for clicks and views. You are nothing more, nothing less. Right now, you're being detained right. until you figure out who you are. You're being <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna put my you're Stop. gonna. I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to give you my other hand. So relax. I'm trying to give you my other hand because you're obviously scared of a man with a camera. I don't understand what's the no, big deal. you're not doing what I ask you to do, so you're being detained. What would you want me to do? I'm not breaking any laws. There is no sign. Go get me your supervisor, Lieutenant, please. This is ridiculous. Go get me your supervisor, please, Lieutenant. You have any form of state ID or driver's license? Sir, I don't consent to any searches or seizures. I haven't broken any laws. I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. I'm talking to you. I'm in handcuffs. Why are you still scared of me, grabbing onto me, shaking? Come Spread on. Spread your feet for me. I don't consent to searches or seizures, sir. Spread your feet for Why me. Why are you so scared for it? I don't have any weapons. That's obviously not a you weapon. You have an ID in your wallet? Don't grab anything in my wallet. I don't consent to any searches or seizures, please. I don't. You're doing. You're violating my constitutional central. rights right now. I'm 10-2. I've got one detained. There's no reason for you to be treating me this way. You guys don't learn de-escalation here in the sheriff's office? Look, I have no weapons. I'm not breaking any laws. This is not a restricted area. There is no signage. You have any form which, of state ID? This is unlawful right. detainment. You have well, me handcuffed. Let me ask you this. Which way did you come in? I came in right through the uh, right through. through that way. Okay. Let's walk back and go look. Yeah. Can, we, we, can you not touch my phone? I'm just going to bring it with us. Oh, okay. I'm cool. not going to turn Thank off. Thank you. You're okay. good. Cool. You're good. I'm gonna, can, can we walk exactly where I came in? Yeah. You, Cause I would never break the law. <laughs> if I saw a restricted area sign, I would never do that. No, there's no sign. There's no sign.
This is why I record. It's ready for it. Okay. This is exactly why I record. So here's my son. Well, it's consistent with our family's all the time. It's in a big pile. It's a tire with a big chunk of concrete in it. It's sitting in the parking lot. Where? In the public parking lot? In the public parking lot right here. You must have walked right by and didn't see it. A little something that I just noticed. You see that sign right there that says reserved for chief deputy over there? Well, the sign they're about to show him is right across from that. And I'll get to that part here in a moment after they show him the sign. Read that sign for me. I walked up to the park. I walked. Is it? I walked on the sidewalk. I walked on the sidewalk. I, I, would, I would never pass a restricted area. So. Okay, let's go back to the beginning where he was actually reading these signs, and he'll pass right by the very sign I just pointed out to you. Let's hope that's not the case here today. Reserved for sheriff, dep chief, deputy. Okay, Sean. Uh. You are on the sidewalk, but that sign that they pointed out to you is like 10 feet behind you. Are you telling me that you missed that sign at, while entering that area? I really doubt it, Sean. I mean, you probably, uh, well, you probably saw it and just decided to ignore it. But let's go ahead and carry on with his uh, stupidity, shall we? Everything, so, back, everything back here is restricted. Well, it wasn't intentional. I didn't see it. I walked uh, on the sidewalk. Come on, let's talk. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Gentlemen, he's got all day, okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Card and yeah. my <laughs> now you I appreciate it now. I wish we had that earlier. We could have hey, well, right right that I saw. Step in there. You alright if he's in the front? That's fine. Yeah, you put the front. Matter of fact, you can take them off if you want to. All right. Good. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Could be better. I wish I would have saw your sign. <laughs> I wish I would have saw it. It's more in the parking lot where people are driving. I wasn't. That's the thing. I'm not. I'm not driving. Uh, I'm it, on the it, sidewalk. It's, it's there. It's been there. We keep that there all the time. All right. You take some. Are you a supervisor, sir? I am. Uh, can I, what's your name? My name is Sean. My name is Rob Williams. Rob Williams? Yeah. My name is Sean, sir. Okay. I was an independent journalist. I'm working on a story here in the, uh, at the, at the correctional facility here, and yeah. I just, I didn't see any restricted area signs. That's all. Okay. <laughs> that's really, that's really it. Okay. And if you, I could even show you the video, you wouldn't see it on video either, because I, I walked right on the sidewalk, yeah. and you, you know, wasn't even thinking about yeah. looking that way. Yeah, but it, it is. Everything's back there restricted. And we don't mind you going back there. You can do what you want to, but just you gotta have an escort. Yeah, once, oh, I would have passed that point. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking. I thought it was yeah. interesting because well, I, you know, I saw a bunch of. The issues is we've got the we've got a trusty dorm back there, and if people are allowed to walk around, they can sneak in contraband and. Gotcha. I can understand that. No, I could. I could understand that 100. percent There's. No, Sean. I don't think you could understand it, not one little bit. Because if you could understand it, you would have never gone back there to begin with. You would have gone through the proper channels like an actual journalist would have. 
because an actual journalist would have been educated enough to understand that this is a correctional facility which requires a different set of rules. Again, that's not my intention. I was just, I saw the vehicles back there and I wanted to take some pictures of them. Ooh, there's um, not much back there. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I went all the way back there and I was like, yeah, there's nothing else. And I was actually on my way back when uh, this lieutenant here uh, approached me. But yeah. So, sorry about that. I don't, I didn't mean to, pol I didn't mean to, uh, Go cross the restricted area signs. I even say it while I'm, while I'm documenting because I want to make sure that I'm not breaking any laws. I don't want to go into any restricted area signs. Um, again, the sidewalk, it was very misleading because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pedestrian, so I'm walking on the sidewalk, and there is, there's, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's only like if you're driving, so it would make it seem more like, you know, don't drive past this point, right? Yeah. Well, we've got, we're working on right now, actually trying to get a fence put across. Yeah, that would, I mean, yeah. And that's our biggest thing is we get more, we have more problems with contraband. If yeah. people get around there and not being secured and we, the trustees have access to walk back and forth. And if somebody like you was to walk by there or somebody else and just yeah. throw some contraband down. Yeah. As they walk through, they pick it up, and that's how it gets in the back. So, gotcha. We try to keep them separated as much as we can, just as to keep the, the safety measures for everybody here. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So, if, what you else? Know. If anything you need from me, I tell you, my name is Sean. Uh, I'm an independent journalist. I travel the country and just check in on different correctional facilities, law enforcement agencies, uh, government agencies, and uh, just work on stories for that for those purposes for government transparency and accountability. Okay. And again, uh, that was my purpose here. Okay. You understand the importance of, of being on law enforcement property. If you're confronted by law enforcement, if they request you to do something that isn't illegal, immoral, or, or in putting you in harm of physical injury or death, it's best to comply. That is one of the best definitions of what a lawful order is. In fact, I think I'm going to save that for posterity and use it in other videos whenever one of these frauditors cries about lawful orders. So thank you, Sean, for this little gift to us. Well, I would when only I, say... When, I, when, when I requested your identification to figure out who you are, who you're with, what you're doing here, you continue to kind of go back and forth and we kind of got stagnant there for a second when we got to that point where you weren't following my lawful orders when i asked you to place your hands on the hood until we can get some kind of controlled position and we can get things figured out that's where things began to escalate that's when we had to take a step up and i had to formally detain you in handcuffs because well, i, didn't know I would just were. say lieutenant <laughs> i didn't know what your intentions were on the property See, is it understandable? Well, you didn't ask me for my intentions. You asked me for my identification, which I would argue my identification doesn't tell you my intentions. And that's what I... Liar! Hey, how are you? Excuse me? Who are you with? Oh, I'm not with anybody. I'm by myself. What are you doing over here? John, quit lying. You're not very good at it because your own video shows you the officer asked what your purpose there was. So quit while you're ahead, dude. Actually, you're not even ahead. You're just an idiot right now. You know, and that I, I think asking for my identification as soon as coming in contact with me, I think that escalates the situation because you could have just said, hey, what are you doing here? Hi, how are you? What are you doing here? And I would have explained to you, just like explained to um, the supervisor here, exactly what I was doing here. And Yes, you said I was in a restricted area, and now that I see that sign in the parking lot, not nowhere near where I could see it, but now that I saw the sign, I can understand why you said it was a restricted area, but at the same time, I don't know that it's a restricted area. You're a law enforcement officer. My job as a citizen is to stand up for my rights. So you're telling me you're giving me lawful orders. I don't know that you're giving me lawful orders. I don't hand over identification unless, what did I, when you asked me for identification, what, what did I say? I said, do you suspect me of committing a crime? parking lot that says anything beyond that point's a restricted area. Can you show it to me? I didn't see it. Yeah. Come you show it to me. Do you have ID on you? Well, let me see the sign first. Because there wasn't any you? signs. Right now you're in a restricted area. You There's no sign. Here. Right? Because my job as an independent journalist and an activist for transparency and accountability in government is to stand up for those rights, the same rights that you took an oath to uphold. So there's been many, many times, sir, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately this is, this is it's, unfortunately it's handled the wrong yes, way. Yes, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. 
unfortunately, there's been many times where I haven't been in a restricted area and law enforcement officers such as yourself think that I'm in a restricted area or think that I'm on government property no, and that's, the that's thing not public you, property. You, you can come through the front of our exactly. front of our facility, our lobby. But that's why, I, I just wanted to explain to the, the Lieutenant, courthouse. that's why I responded the way I did is because yeah. it's, it's not necessarily about you, it's just about in general. Normally people, hey, let me get your ID. And I, I never understood that because like, what is my ID going to tell you about what I'm doing here? Or what is that? How does that help you in any way in conducting an investigation? And I don't give up my ID because that would be a Fourth Amendment violation unless I'm suspected of committing a crime. Sorry. Oh. Unless I'm suspected of committing a crime. So that's why I'm saying, let's, I even told you, let's de-escalate a little bit. I, how am I in a restricted area? There's no signs. You know, I even told you, what did I tell you, Lieutenant? I said, hey, you said there is a sign. I said, okay, let's go walk over and look at it. And you said, no, put your hands on the hood. Like, we could have just walked over together and so I saw the sign. Let's, let, let's, if you, if you want to start speaking in hypotheticals, let's, let's go down that road. So, you don't identify yourself. You pull a gun, shoot me, and I have no way of relaying any of that information to my central dispatch or to my partners who were trying to figure out what was going on. You conduct yourself on the property however you see fit, whether it, it could be uh, sim something as simple as the trespassing, which I explained to you was which what was occur occurring, or something much, much worse, right? So that's why we tend to try and identify the party involved who we're dealing with so my people know who I'm talking to. Ah, yes, he's explaining to you common damn sense, Sean, but unfortunately it will never reach your pathetic little mind. I, From listen, there. I'm, not, I'm not saying you're not, treat, you're not trained to ask for ID in every scenario. I'm just saying if you look at the totality of the circumstances... You were in violation... Of, I, of going, of but for me, in a restricted area, I, un I understand that that sign was I not where you were. you as a suspect, and you had to be identified formally. But in order, just to be fair, if you want, if we want to get technical with laws and statutes, criminal trespassing in Mississippi, I had to have known, I had to have been cognizant of the fact that I was trespassing in order to be breaking that statute. Once you relayed to me to the fact that I was tr indeed trespassing, I informed you, let's go look at the sign. So that would mean that I was willing to leave. So I was, in fact, in violation of no statutes today because so I had to have seen the sign. Once, once, you went, obvious. once you traveled past this corner of the government building and continued on up the hill towards, towards all that, would a reasonable person believe that that is a, that is a public roadway or a, a public right-of-way to freely travel? Well, no, it's not a public right-of-way, but I would oh, I, what I assume okay. is that it's government property, it's public property, and that's why I'm saying public is that I've been or, pro, or or government property. Well, public property is government property. It's the same thing. Who owns you know? And this is why I didn't want to identify myself or but comply can with your be lawful orders. From government property. Not unless they're breaking the law or if they're in a restricted area. And like I said, yeah. I had to. The statute's clear, sir. I had to have known, and I honestly didn't know. If you looked at the video footage, you wouldn't have seen that sign. Which you put it in the middle. Are you referring to the criminal trespassing statute of Mississippi? That I, it, what are you, for the sign. There's there's multiple. There's ones for signage. There's ones for uh, verbal orders given uh, under have certain circumstances. The statute of called trespass of real estate property. Trespass of real estate property. No. Okay. Trespass of real estate property. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. This has been a while. Yeah, it's just I, I, you know, it's just it's 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 a product of, of what I do for a living. As far as you know, I work with law enforcement uh, officers. I, I do, yeah. I have done trainings at law enforcement officers uh, departments. Um, I'm looking to do another one. The I've been reached out to by a department in New Jersey. I'm from New York. I'm from Long Island, and it's a product of my job. Unfortunately, is that normally I'm given a lot of unlawful orders and things get escalated and that's why yeah. it has it and my job is to show people that you know unless you're breaking the law you don't have to give over your identification you don't have to put your hands behind your back you can't be unlawfully detained yeah see this is remaining see I, I think I have it Mississippi title 97 crimes against property trespass going on to or remaining in upon buildings premises lands forbidden of another after being forbid after being forbidden to do so so yeah, I, I never saw that one about real estate property. I look up the laws everywhere I go. I'm very uh, familiar, and well, I didn't I, see that one. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So again, that my again, it's not my again. At the same time, 
do I understand the lieutenant his position is that he doesn't know if I saw the sign or not at the time. I understand his position that I, I, I technically was, but I technically wasn't. I think, just honestly, Lieutenant, I think that there was a better way to handle it. Just let's go walk over. You know, how many people do you know that's going to want to do you harm while they're recording? You know, I, yeah, I'm not, another way you can look at it, too, is if you go down and take this to court as a judge and say that you walked away 10 feet of the sign, and we've actually got video of you walking all over the place, they were watching you walk. Well, now, uh, they got him right there. He did walk within 10 feet of the sign, and if it was taken to court, that's probably exactly what the judge would say. At any rate, I am just going to end it right here because it goes on for another 15 to 20 minutes, and I don't really feel like listening to him for that much longer. So, And they eventually let him go anyway, but we shall see where this leads to in the future because the... They may leave it open to prosecution later on. Who knows? So, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.